Razor Shark Studios. It's time for the Big Dog AC Show. Yeah. Oh, some of these badass coaches <laughs> are not very good role models for people. Well, you they're know. fucking having heart attacks on the fucking side of the, the fucking field. <laughs> and then they're supposed to be calling plays. Yeah. I mean, they're- Bruce Arians, come on, give me a break. Yeah. He looks like the guy from Monsters University, <laughs> and I can't remember what that character's that, that name. The crab, the crab. Well, no, mustache? he's like he's the well, the one with the mustache, yeah. yes. But he's got he's more like an octopus kind of thing with the suckers on his limbs and stuff, right. with the big ass mustache. Yeah. He totally. Every time I see Bruce Arians, that's what I think of. He's fucking. So the old the old coaches are. You think they're done? I. Congratulations. And I to the ramp. I. Well, yes. So we're restarting that because I don't want to say that it's just because they're old. I want to say it's because they're fucking out of shape. I mean, learn by example. So we're talking about the Super Bowl. If we want to get right into it right now, yeah. we can talk about it right now. We can talk about it right now. You don't even know what you're going to have me do on TikTok. So I don't know, know yet, but I will. Yep. I will know. Yeah. Because, by the way, this is the Big Dog and AC show, and this is AC, and I just fucking won the bet because... Yes. If anybody watched Super Bowl and you heard our show previously, yeah. our little three-minute prediction from before, you will know that I fucking called it to the fucking yeah, T she did. with the Rams winning by three. Yes, yes. And I fucking won. You, and so you were nervous, though. I with, was nervous. The Bengals were coming. To, but, man. But, you know, you can't ever give up with the Rams, though. No. Because I've seen them already come back. And win by one, win by a cup, you know, you never fucking know no, what's going to fucking happen. No. And so getting to these, the um, the old coaches, these were two young coaches. Yes. They yeah. were in shape. Yes. Lead by example. Yes. Is all I'm saying. Yeah. No, the, <laughs> big mean, fat, the big fat old ones are just Yes. Bad, I know useless. that they know. Let them be up in the booth. Yeah. No. Know. Let them stay home. Well, let they can call, home. be home and then call. <laughs> Call the coach, hey, on yes. the cell phone. Uh, hey, what's up? This is what's going on. <laughs> but, I mean, don't have them on the sidelines because, yeah. come on, man. I know they've been out there a long time, and they know, but it's like, come so you, on. You're so not you, healthy. You come know, on. You, you know they've been out there a long time. Huh? You can see they've been out there a long time. <laughs> so these young guys coming up that are in shape, they probably work out with the team, and, and you know, they lead by example. That's all I can, uh, that's all I can say lead by example and so they did a great job today um the super bowl just happened i uh ac beat big dog he had the Bengals by 10 yeah ac me yeah had the rams by three damn and what was the score uh i don't know 23 20 but your dad had 21 points on that. well if we want to talk about that <laughs> yeah my mom i called her or she called me and i asked her um, when I spoke with her, what and she's all, I don't give a shit. About, oh, and she didn't say give a shit. No, she, she said, does. no, she won't say it. She said, um, I don't care about football anymore, but I guess. And she started to run all this stuff. My one cousin likes this. My other cousin likes that. And it's like, mom, just who? She's like, well, I just hope it's a good game. It's like, okay, so it was a good game. Yes. It was. My dad, he picked the Rams, but he picked them when he told me, he's all. By two and a half touchdowns. I'm like, what the fuck is that? Two. <laughs> so really, it's it's two touchdowns and a field goal, and a field he said. Goal. So he was wrong by that, but the yeah. Rams did win. Okay, they did. So, so so now Big Dog lost. I did. So I have to think of something for you to do on TikTok. Yeah. Yeah, and I sure. do not know what it will be yet. So when we start recording the real show This tonight, is the real show right now. No, it's not. This is this the real is a show. segment of the show. Oh, this is a segment of the you show. You even said in the beginning it's a segment of the show. Did I? I don't know. I don't think I said that. Anyways, but, you know, play it play it back. You know, <laughs> AC won. I bet. won. Yeah, so uh, AC won. So we're we are we are going to put the show together. So by next show, by next yeah. weekend, yeah. Big Dog will have done something on TikTok. And hopefully you guys just stay tuned on our TikTok. Follow us on TikTok. And then you'll see what's going on because I don't know yet what's going to happen. Yep, I think it's going to be cool. Thanks to Barcidius Brewing Company for sponsoring Beer 30 on the Big Dog and AC Show. If you're in Lebanon, Oregon, stop by Barcidius. <laughs> Big Dog AC Show. You know what? The Super Bowl was un 
fucking believable. It was down to, and you know, we had some issues, me and yeah. you. Yeah. During, and I talked to my mom during the the Super Bowl. That's and she the kept issue. Telling me, she kept telling me to calm down. Yeah. Because I was getting fired yeah. up. Yeah. And uh, she always tells me to be nice. And <laughs> yeah. Well, I always. <laughs> I'm fucking tell, nice all the time. I always, I always tell you and your mom to be nice. You tell me to be nice too. I'm like, what the fuck, people? Yes. I'm always nice. Yeah. Yeah, that's like I told. I my, think I'm I, always like, nice. Like I told my son, I told him, "Don't kill your your uncle and beat his ass." <laughs> he's always, everybody always well, tells yeah. me that. Well, I feel his pain because everyone's always telling me to be nice. It's like I'm always fucking nice, except maybe to you guys. No, we. But were, I'm nice to other people. <laughs> earlier, me, me and AC went to the store, and I <laughs> kind of got caught in the street a little bit, and some old lady was honking at us. What does AC do? Go the fuck around and flipped I, her off. I got I upset. Like, Damn. I got upset and I'm yeah. st- I was still upset yeah. during the game yeah. because she really pissed me off because, you know, she looked like she was an entitled old little bitty with her white hair and her little bob haircut. Yeah. And she's honking at yeah. us. Like, what the fuck what do you want us to do? to do? Where are we yeah. going? Yeah. Where do you want us to go? Well, first off, the store we went to has the worst parking. It does have the worst Because they got a lot. stop sign by the door. Yes. So when people are coming in and out, these people are lined out, you know. Well, yeah. Yeah. I mean, you're yeah. pull, you're trying to, you have to turn in, like make a left-hand turn. Yeah. Well, if you're going from the way we were. Yeah. And then go into the fucking parking lot. And then, so three cars deep. If you are the fourth car, you're in the fucking street. And the first car is always got to fucking sit there and wait for some random ass person to yeah, walk across yeah. the street. And it's like, dude, <laughs> just fucking go. Yeah. And You know what I say? The ones that are putting their carts in the cart thing, run them over. Just run them over. Well, just get them out of the fucking way. Or they can wait. I mean, really, you see the cars are backed up. Just wait. Mm-hmm. Let the person go. And yeah. so you pulled in. You know, and you were in the street, and I've seen this before, not yeah. me, but I've seen a yeah. truck being in the street like that. Yeah. So I don't personally do it because I've seen it, and I've seen the, the traffic get backed up, but you did it, which was fine. But then this bitch is hauling ass around the corner, coming down the straight where we're at, and it's like she's honking, honking, honk. It's like your, honk, your, your horn is going to go out. Just yeah. fucking knock it off. And I kept saying, we see you. We see you. And she You're kept not, And she kept honking. Yeah. And she stopped there and was honk. She stopped in front of us and honked. It's like, go the fuck around. <laughs> and then she finally did go around. Yeah, she did. And so I don't know if she tried to flip us off. I didn't really see her. She did something with her hand. And so I flipped her off. And I'm thinking in my mind, okay, we're in Oregon. And some people think that nothing is going to, like, it's safe. Right, you know, right, right. It's more mellow here, yeah. right? Yeah. So they don't think anything's going to happen. But when we're from where we've lived before, yeah. not all places in California, yeah. right? but the last place we lived in California, yeah. if you do that, if I was the one honking at somebody, oh yeah, they would have gotten out and said, what the fuck's your problem? Oh, shot you. Or shot me. Yeah. Or done something. Yeah. And, and it's like, what are you doing? I, you think that you're entitled and and nothing's going to happen to you. If I was different, you'd have a problem, right? Really? You, you would have had a problem. You would have been drug out of the car. You would have had a problem. Yeah. I would have gotten out and I probably, because I've been accused of banging on the, the windshield before. And People, people don't realize when, when, when you kind of act like that, you never know who you're acting like that towards. And that's the thing. And you've yeah. always told yeah. me because... In California, when I've been driving, and I would yeah. get road rage, yes. and I'll be yelling at yeah. people, and you would tell me, you don't know who who's in the other car. No, you don't. And it's true because sometimes just random shit happens. Yeah. Anybody. So you don't really know. So you don't know. You, so so, I, so you come to Oregon now. You're flipping people. Now off. I'm flipping them because this fucking old bitty, this bitch, she made me, and I was still thinking about it during the Super Bowl. Yeah. I was still, I and I told I you tell. that, and you're like, yeah. just let it go. I'm let like, it go. okay. But this fucking little bit, this old bitch, entitled, I, entitled old bitch, yeah, yeah. pissed me off because it's like, okay, don't, you don't want to, do you that. know how how this store is, yeah. I, I guarantee you, she's been to this store. She knows how that entrance is. I mean, come on, yeah, oh, I, yeah, I yeah. know how it is. I would just be like, okay, well, oh, you know, everything's patient. all fucked up. Be be patient. Be patient. Be patient. 
Or, yeah. you know, contain your rage. Yeah, of course. Why are you fucking honking at people? If you don't contain your rage, I'm going to send the Mountain Boogaloo guy. Yeah, Mountain Boogaloo is going to come dance on your hood. Oh, he's gonna get and you're going to regret gonna... all of it. He might even bend your hood down. I'm not sure, but you're going to regret it. You're going to stomp the shit out of your yeah, shit. Yeah, because you're yeah, going to regret him just right. dancing. He's just going to dance, and you're going to regret it big time. Yeah. Oh. But she pissed me off, and I still kind of feel irritated. And if I it was ever to see her, I wish I had said more. You know, I'm Honestly, glad you did. I wish I, I, wish I had some. Store and get why? She wasn't going to do anything. Fuck, she'd probably be all scared. She probably called the cops. What? And I think that would have been a good story. Right, right. AC almost got arrested going to the store before yeah. the Super Bowl. Yeah. And I we videotaped the whole fucking thing. You could have videotaped it, me yeah. there. And yeah. I'd be like, hey, this bitch was honking at me. They'd be like, oh, okay, no problem. Yeah. Let's go let on. her go. Let her go. Yeah. <laughs> COVID. Because they don't care. <laughs> yeah. The cops here don't care either. The one thing I noticed about the Super Bowl, and just let me get this out. The one thing I noticed about the Super Bowl, they didn't show politicians, they showed a couple <laughs> actors. And nobody's wearing a mask. Nobody. I saw one person. One guy's behind, behind the bar. LeBron. Walking, yeah, 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 yeah. Behind yeah. LeBron. LeBron. Nothing. LeBron's not wearing a mask. No, nobody else. None of it. J-Lo, no, Ben Affleck. No. Um, no I, the one person that should is J-Lo. Because we all know where she's been. Well, she's she, been in plenty of places. She needs to. <laughs> I bet Ben's been plenty of places, too. We just don't know. See, did you see Ben, though, at the, at the Super Bowl? He looked like you barely stand up. So J-Lo's been taking care of that. For months, I believe so, that's probably true. It just, I believe that's true. There's no, there's no life left in his legs. He, yeah. yeah. Well, he, he was there. He was so. barely there. <laughs> she done sucked everything out of that. But they showed all the yeah. actors and everybody. And I have to say though, <laughs> when they showed Emmett Smith, yes, yeah, yeah in yeah, his yeah. little VIP booth. Oh yeah, he yeah, looked yeah. like an old G man. Yeah. He looked G. Yeah, you did. He was. The original gangster, right there. I think he he was the original foot NFL football player. Well, man. Yeah. yeah. Well, yes, but yeah. he looked like he could sit there, and he he I, had his little white goatee and all his I've beard been, and all I've that. I've been shit. eyeballing that bottle opener. Hold on. Okay, you better get that. But he looked like he was Mister Smooth, and I I really everybody else, all these other actors and everybody they had out there. I don't know. They just look like they're woo, you know. We're in the we're in the VIP, and it, but he looked like I've I've been here. I'm born to be here. Yeah, yeah. He looked yeah, like he ah, it's no shit Him to me. Yeah, yeah. I got my little cup. I got yeah. my hose next to me. Oh, yeah. He looked. He had a whole bunch of OG. hose. He, he had looked a ton OG. Of hose. Yeah. He looked OG to me, yeah, yeah. and I respect him a lot for that. He looked, about, he looked really good. How about the Rock coming out in the beginning of that? Well, okay. Oh, my Let's talk about God. the Rock. The Rock. Come on. Is I love The Rock. The, I mean, He's I, awesome. I think the best, Dwayne move, Johnson. the best move NBC did was pay The Rock to come out there. Yes. Yeah. I mean, I, I, mean, I agree. Come on. He, he, he mm, I like The Rock. We'll talk about The Rock later, too, but um, I just love him. Because he, he's such a good person. Yeah. And everything he does, he's, he's humongous. He's in, he's in if shape. Anybody follows his Instagram. Well, I, I was mean, talking I was fuck. talking to, I was talking to my brother, you know, before the game started, and the rock came out there, he's all, Bro, there's the fucking rock. I'm like, what? Well yeah. Yeah. I was like, oh, and then I saw him. Mm-hmm. 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 I knew he was gonna be out there. Yeah. And I, he's, did, I didn't he's know what fucking, he was gonna do. So, but I, well, he, he's electrifying. There's no doubt about that. Yes, he is the biggest thing now. Put him in like uh, Romeo and Juliet. Be the <laughs> biggest fucking movie. Know. Can you imagine? I don't know. <laughs> can you imagine? Can you imagine a rock and Romeo and Juliet? No, honestly, no. Ooh, I can't. I love you. <laughs> Uh, no, <laughs> don't be believe you. Love if if her. Romeo and Juliet was a um, an action movie, <laughs> yeah. Or, I, may, maybe yeah. or like a Disney cartoon yeah. he can be good too well, my brother was all man he's looking good I'll tell you it's he like, was looking good um, yeah he always looks good yeah, he was like jacked but he he's was in good been, shape yeah yes like me but yeah, I, I don't yeah. yeah just like you <laughs> I didn't like the pants he had on I'm sure you did. I didn't. I mean, he could have just gone out there with his little trunks on. What would have been better? Trunks. No, but but I didn't like that the pants AC. necessarily. But believe me, Dwayne Johnson, everything else was great. Don't hate me for that. Yeah. Why would you hate him? <laughs> everything was great. <laughs> it was. A we good... gotta get some Terramana, um tequila. 
Is that, is that his that's tequila? His brand. Mm-hmm. Would you drink it or would you pussy out and not drink it? No, I'd try it. All right. I don't know if I would like drink it consistently, but I would <laughs> no. try it. Give it a shot like we did peanut butter whiskey. Remember one? No, of the, well, I could. Somebody keep, told you about peanut butter whiskey, and we started drinking that. I can keep drinking that. The problem is, I black out and puke all over the yeah, place. Yeah, just Ralph everywhere. So I can't do that. S- stomach bile flying. But yeah. I, I heard that yep. his tequila is very smooth. Okay. We'll and get, so maybe we can try it. Yeah, we'll give it a shot. But um, but he he is fucking. So that's all I can say. <laughs> so we're gonna talk Valentine's. Are we? It, Are we done it, talking about Super Bowl though? I think so. We, well, because I was gonna talk about the commercials. I was gonna ask you what your favorite commercial was, and I already know what it is. But you know, if people want to know. Well, it wasn't really the com- my favorite commercial wasn't on the Super Bowl. My favorite commercial was yesterday when we watched that one commercial and Onion. Oh, that was on TikTok though. TikTok, that wasn't a commercial. No, no. no, no, no. TikTok is. It was on TikTok. Yeah. Onion, the little, Onion, the little fro- frog. The little frog was tearing, just going ballistic on the guy's arm hair. Yes, and I, that was my favorite video. On- <laughs> Onion was the well, shit. Well, I'm gonna have to look up that uh, those people then on yeah. TikTok uh, because on- Onion was I mean, awesome. That, that was hilarious. A little yeah. green green frog, and he. <laughs> it said Onion woke up with terror or well, yeah, yeah. with aggression or something like that. He was a little upset and he went after the arm hair. It was funny the it way was he was like so mean. But I just thought that your your favorite commercial might have been the Salma Hayek and Arnold Schwarzenegger commercial. Yeah, you know, it, it was. It, and it, in the beginning it was. Cause Selma just, I mean, God dang, melt my, my popsicle. She, she melts your popsicle? Oh, I, oh, yeah. Selma would melt my popsicle. <laughs> so, but I, okay. During the commercial with them, your pants I, almost fell off on that one. They did, and I didn't realize it was Arnold Schwarzenegger until later in the. Co- yeah, no, it was Arnold Schwarzenegger. I could not tell until he started bumbling his ass trying to talk, and then I. I, I knew I, it was I, him I was right like, away. No. I, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Sel- I love. I love Selma Arnold Schwarzenegger. Still looks good, man. Yeah, she does. But I think mm. in that commercial, for some reason, her voice sounded weird, like she was sick. I, like, I, I don't know. Was, I don't know. Uh, horse. You didn't look I at her. I you didn't hear her voice. You I just saw her. I just saw her. So I, I thought that was a good gone. commercial. Yeah. But one thing I noticed on yeah. all, a lot of the commercials for Super Bowl this year. What was it? There were a lot of the um, electric cars. Yeah. Electric oh, cars. Oh. There were a lot of them. And electric that's the cars, Sal- Salma oh. and Arnold were was an electric one. car. That's fine. And that's cool that they're doing that. I get electric cars. But come on, man. You're going to still have... A classic, you know, gasoline deal. Yeah. Well, I don't mind doing an electric car if they make things more affordable. No. To have no, an electric no, car. You, no, you can't afford. And one. then no. and plug it in somewhere. Yeah, where you, you know, find it. a place to plug it do? in. You're gonna go to Costco. Yeah. I've never seen a electric car plug in at Costco. When I was at Fresno State, they did put in like I think two or three electric charging stations. So, but it's five, like, are you going to so have the, it at home? So the hundred people that are got electric cars at Fresno State, you got <laughs> yes. two or three plug-ins. Got Cause, it. Because if you saw how many Way cars are at Fresno State and how many people actually use the electric plug-ins, yeah, pff, there's, there's like maybe a couple. I saw them vacant all the time, and everybody else is driving a regular car. But they're car. pushing. They're pushing more. it, but like I yeah. say, I would be fine with it if they were more accessible and and, and um, cheaper. Because one of the other, the commercials was also the ones from The Sopranos. Yeah. The kids. Yeah, the so kids. So they did that whole thing. And, and you were even like, are they going to redo The Sopranos? I'm like, no, it's a car commercial. You can tell. It's a car commercial. No, I thought maybe because those two right there should re- redo it. That that would be cool. Yeah, that'd be like cool. if the kids yeah. took over for it. but uh, That'd be awesome. Yeah. But then yeah. some of the other, I don't know. I remember the commercials being funnier. A lot of them now tried to have some sort of message yes thank you some social meet some yeah. social message That's some uh, yeah. it's like just you know can't we just have some fun why does everything have to not anymore mean something it's just and i'm not saying that there aren't things that need to be said out there but it's like sometimes you just want to have fun yeah you know and not everything has to mean something no it, it can just be it, it can just be fun i know i mean all on the back of all the helmets in the nfl Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Uh, but, big big dog AC show. Uh, we try to get snacks, but he's busy. I don't know what he's doing. Who knows? Who knows what he's doing? People are doing stuff. I guess they don't think it's important enough to be on this show. 
I mean, we no. think it's important. You but guys think it's important. You know what? You want to be popular? You need to be on the big. You dog need to AC be on show. this fucking show. Yeah, you do. Um, <laughs> nice. She's got her finger up in the air too. I do, fuckers. Come get on the show, bitches. <laughs> um, now Valentine's Day. Oh my god. Oh my goodness, Valentine's Day. So, so as we said on our little mini 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 episode that yeah, we like, aired before this yeah that today's super bowl sunday did we ever we cancel just, that one no, no because i wanted proof that i called <laughs> the game <laughs> yeah, so i left it on because we were gonna you know we were gonna turn it off <laughs> right right but we're, but, but we're not now because i i said rams by three and rams won by three yeah so they did we're leaving oh. it on for posterity but that means monday is valentine's day yes so since last year, I went over the history of Valentine's Day. Twice. The Valentine's Day massacre. I did yeah. all kinds of shit for Valentine's Day. Yeah. So this time, I decided to do something a little different. So me and Big Dog picked our, our top five yeah. lists of people you yeah. can be with, celebrity, whoever, sleep with, you know, without the other person getting mad. Well, so I feel like that's somewhat Valentine's, you know, love related. It's yeah, love Ace, that's, related. AC's, that's AC's <laughs> way of Valentine's. And then I have also a, a list of aphrodisiacs, which is going to come cool. into play also. Yeah. So. Instead of a movie review, we're going to let her do the aphrodisiacs. Yeah. Yes. But right now we're talking the, the top, top five, five mm -hmm. of if, if we had a chance to spend, uh, you know, Valentine's Day with them. Well, not just Valentine's oh, Day, but maybe, if you ever, like, okay. You're if, in a coma. I got to go get some. Yeah. Right. That's a good, no, it's no. really like this, this, if anybody knows from friends, this was the way it was where there was a list. And if you ever ran into this celebrity, right, it right, would be okay yeah. for you to have sex with the celebrity and the other person not get mad because when are you going to run into a celebrity, right? Okay. That's the, po the whole point of this. So, so. give me your number five. My number five? Yes, your number five. So we're going to go, okay, we're going to go like yeah. Okay, my number five. Well, this is in no particular order. Okay? No, no, no. By the way. Number but five. The the fifth one I wrote down. Yes. Is Paul Rudd. It only took like <laughs> who is 14 times for you to say the, that. The sexiest man alive, which I completely agree. I love oh, him. You, he's okay. fucking hilarious and he's so super cute. And you he got looks, the floor. He looks the same as he did on Clueless. I mean, he does not age as people say all the time. He does not fucking age. He looks fucking so super cute and he seems like he's just the funniest person to be around any of his skits like when he does with jimmy fallon okay. anything on saturday night live he's so he looks like he's so much fun anyway so okay. it's paul rudd paul rudd it's the one that if you could get away with just getting fucked if i hard, ever if i ever it. met him yeah you try to fuck him people would not get mad at me how about that yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what's your number five my number five Oh, okay. And I'd have to say, uh, what's that song? Goodbye to you. Yeah. What's her What's her name? Um, Patty Patty Smythe. Yeah. Smith. She's, she's Smith. Yeah. 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 And what band is that? What's she from? I don't know. I was you don't you remember you that? You were the one that wrote, you were the one that told me about Scandals. her. Scandals. Scandal. Scandal. Yeah. Scandal. Yeah. Patty Smythe, my number five. And she's married to so, so, Macaroon. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I don't know why <laughs> she did that. She could have <clears throat> married somebody else. So. I don't know. He must yeah. be a good guy, I guess. Yeah, I, maybe. maybe. Got a big just, old racket hanging out there. Uh, maybe so. Yeah, Valentine's Day. That might Day. be it. Get some Valentine's Day in there. Happy, <laughs> Happy <laughs> yeah. Valentine's yeah. Day. Uh, um, there's, okay. a, there's a new dance out. I heard oh. about it. What? Called the Mountain Boogaloo. Oh, gosh. Oh, my God. We got to learn it. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. What does that have to do with our list? Nothing. No, nothing. But I just, okay. I, the, the sponsorship. <laughs> Mount Boo sponsored. Maybe the show. that's what I can have you do on TikTok because since you lost, I did. And I have know, to have something. I have I, to have you do something on TikTok. But and, I was and, still, I was still rooting for your team. I, Matthew Stafford deserves it. There was a short yeah, amount of time yeah. in there where you were like talking a lot of shit. You were punching me in the arm. So yeah, there. and you were saying, "Oh, you're not going." I'm like, okay, "I got abused." It's the Rams; they can always come back, and they did, and it was fucking amazing. 
but even, okay, even without so, Odell Beckham Jr. Even sorry. without Odell, yes, because he, because I mean, ever since he went to the Rams, he kind of straightened up, and his athletic ability just yeah. boom. Yeah, and he, he he scored the first touchdown. Yeah, he did for the Rams. Yeah. So mm-hmm. yes, and then of course he gets hurt. But Cooper Cup was always there. He was always there. So I'm all glad the up, that, all the way up until they got you know Odell. Well, yeah. So, so he at yeah. least at the end it was it was mainly him. I it, think he so. still got to do some stuff. Yeah. And I was super happy for Stafford. Yes. Yeah. I mean, poor Stafford suffered with the Lions for how many years? <laughs> Tons of and he finally horrible coaches made it, got traded, made it to the Rams. He was like made it to the Super Bowl and fucking won. Yeah. Yes. So I, I feel so good for him. I do. I He's think. not on my top five though, no. by the way. No. Top I'll five. tell you my next one. Who's is, number four? Is Jason Bateman. What? Because that, why? He's got a little dick. There's no way. You don't know he's got a dick. How, how do you know he's got a little dick? Look at him. I have Come looked on. at him. He's funny also. He's and funny, I think but he's, he ain't got no dick. You don't know if he's got a dick or not. He's he's cute also, and um, I just really enjoy his personality. I think him and Paul Rudd, they just that'd be a perfect uh, threesome right there. Yeah. Because they're both really what and super cute. What? <laughs> <laughs> That's a little did extra I, added bonus right there. Did I for say, people. yeah? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's horrible. That's, I was so, looking at the wrong thing. So I, I enjoy both of them, and uh, yeah, I really enjoy them. So they're on my list. So who's your next one? Four. Number four. Four for the big dog. Yeah. All of the bitches <laughs> on Hallmark. All around, the leading all, ladies. All the, the leading ladies <laughs> on Hallmark around Christmas time. They are all <laughs> fuckable. There's okay, no so doubt that, about that seems like that's like 20 people. I just, so every one of got, them. Every one of them. Okay. Yeah. Well, you know, all I can see them. it because all of them in these Christmas movies are always looking for somebody. So if you just showed up and like fix their door, fix yeah, their house, fucking, live in their barn, <laughs> they probably love you're you. You're tasting that sweet honey, man. That's what you do. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Like in Hallmark, they don't taste any sweet honey. AC. It's always innocent. Uh, it's lemonade Jeez. and a muffin. Jeez. Yeah. Shit. Yeah, okay. okay. Well, okay. Big dogs number okay. Four. okay. I got one right here. Okay, who? And this is one that is going to make people actually see who it is. Okay. Molly Ephraim from Last Man Standing. Okay. Well, yeah, Just the original one, perfect. not the. Yeah. Just perfect all around. Smells good. You don't know how she smells. Just can you imagine? <laughs> Damn, that's who I got. She's pretty. Yeah. Yeah, and my, I like her little attitude yeah. on Last Man Standing. Oh, I, I don't. Care. I think you like the attitude. I, you say that, but I think you like the I attitude. Like the, I like the body and the yeah, attitude. Yeah, but I think you like the yeah. attitude too. You all right? Okay. Like who, 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 you got? who you got? Okay, well, now I'm almost not oh, sure if I no, should have him be number the, three. Oh, but my gosh. I, I said Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Dwayne The and Rock that Johnson. had nothing to do with him being at the Super Bowl number today. Three. Oh, fuck. He was badass at the Super Bowl. So. But he is. But, I mean, I'm telling you, if you yeah. follow his Instagram, he's fucking, he's a fucking beast, man. You see him working out. He's yeah. got a yeah. chain, oh, like yeah. a 25-pound yeah, chain out. on his neck, and he's doing squats and all that. Fuck. He and but also, see with me, it's it's like they look good, but they also have good attitudes. And he is, he just seems like he's one of the nicest people ever. All these guys that I have on my list seem like they're so super nice. They all have like, well, except for Paul Rudd. There's no weenie there, so the, well, maybe another. I don't, you don't know. know. I don't know. Paul Rudd looks really super friendly too, though. There's no weenie. But, but Dwayne, yeah. how do you know? You don't know. Come on. You don't know. Yeah. Dwayne Johnson, though, he buys houses and cars for his mom <laughs> and all that stuff. And I mean, Perfect. he's a he's a really good guy. Yeah. But and he's also fucking smoking hot. No, all right. So so there you go. So I get my here's here's mine. Okay, okay here's your number two, which I don't know. But number what? number my number two is uh, the firm. The firm, the movie. Yeah. Tom Cruise is on that beach with that girl. Oh, that's not okay. That's Elizabeth Shue. That's not Elizabeth that's Shue. A, I guarantee you that's, that's a, not Elizabeth Shue. That's, that's somebody a, else. Who is it? Who is it? Elizabeth Shue, I think, is from. Um, Okay, let me. You want me to look up who? Oh no, no, no. Elizabeth Shue is his girlfriend or boy. Yeah, his girlfriend. No, Elizabeth Shue has nothing to do with the firm. No. Yes. No, she doesn't. She doesn't. <laughs> no. 
Okay, I will tell you right now. I'm going to look it up right this second. I'm going to look up the firm. Yeah, you go ahead. Elizabeth Shue is not from she's that. In it. She's in it. No, she's not. She is. Hold on, I'll tell you one second. All right. One. I'm pulling up right now. Gene Triplehorn. Oh. Is the is his wife in that? In the firm. In the firm. So, what was Elizabeth Shue? Elizabeth Shue. Cocktail. Yes. Boom. Elizabeth Shue is in cocktail. Yeah, got it. So, which one would you prefer? Uh, both. No, you can't have both. Oh, all right. You can have both. All right. So you're just not going to pick. <laughs> so which one are you going to pick? Which cocktail. One are you gonna pick? I'll take cocktail. So Elizabeth Shue. Yes. So not Triple Horn from the firm. No. No Triple Horn from Waterworld. When she's naked on that little but boat. Then, no, you can't have another person. You always you already have twenty five because you have Hallmark leading ladies on there. Oh, yeah, it's only supposed to be five. You can't have fifty of Can them. You ha do you have the names of the Hallmark girls? No. Thank them. Personally. You should have looked them all up if you wanted to talk about. Them. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So you want Elizabeth Shue from Cocktail? I don't. Yeah. Is that what's your? That's I your number that two. Was, I thought that was the no, other one. No, that's Gene Triplehorn. Triplehorn. From the firm. Firm. Okay. Well, we'll so. just say they're a tie for second. How about that? All the leading ladies. I'll that take was them number all. three. Yes, yeah, we said number that. three. Or that was number four. Uh, Sorry. I don't know. Whatever. So who you got? You got so my second is Jason Momoa, no. which I don't think he's is got a, a big old scar. I don't think it's shit. a surprise to anybody no. because he's smoking hot too, no. and he's got you're smoking something. He looks like he well, he seems to have a very good attitude, and he's very mellow, and he just seems like he'd be super fun to hang out with, and and he's smoking hot. Did I say that? Yeah, you, did. Hot you think so? So yeah. Yeah. Yes, I that's, like Samoans, I guess. So that's number two. <laughs> that's number my number two. two. My number two is uh. You said Liz, 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 Liz. We already talked about that. How's who's your number one? No, you give me your number one first. No wait, let, I, let me see if I can guess this. AC, every time she sees this dude, she, she just gets all crazy. So. Okay. Harry Cavill. Yep. Henry, not Harry. Henry Cavill. <laughs> hey, who, he might be Harry. I'm not sure. Who? But <laughs> who, who likes Henry? No, wait a minute. Uh, Harry. Uh, what's the other Harry? The younger oh, one. Oh, from One Direction. Yeah, Harry. Uh, oh, so I know somebody else who likes. Yeah, Harry. loves him. Yes, loves him. That's not me. And we like I to like and we like to send a shout out to everybody in Reedley, Fresno. <laughs> Central in, Valley. In Central Valley just. She's in Visalia us. that likes uh, yeah. Harry. Yeah. Harry Styles. Harry. That's not me though. No. I like Henry Cavill. Henry, okay, that's He's, your number one pick. Oh my God, yes he is. So, I cannot think of anybody else. How would you start that? that? Be, how would you start that? I mean, you take his shirt off. He's all buffed and yacked up. You just. What would you do? AC. I'd just probably jump on him. <laughs> hey Henry. <laughs> You want to come in my car? You want to go in the room? I mean, come, I don't know. You want to come? You just want to come in? Just jump on him, yeah. I suppose. But he seems, he's a good guy, too. I mean, he builds his own computers. He plays, like, Dungeons and Dragons and all that shit. Right. So he's he's not just pretty face. No, I mean, no. he's he's a really good guy yeah. from what I've heard. Yeah. And, so, um, yeah. That's your number one. Oh, fuck yeah. I mean, you watch The Witcher. Give me a break. Have you ever seen Dust Till Dawn? Yes, I've seen it with you. Yes. And we also saw a commercial today. Do you remember when Dust Till Dawn and Selma comes out mm -hmm. as the head vampire? Yeah, that snake was awesome that she had on her. That was brutal when I saw that because I thought to myself, she is perfect. Yes. Perfect. She was really hot too yeah yes. just amazing if i had a female top five i'd put her on there too you would yeah. <laughs> i would because she's fucking hot i mean so you can't blame me i don't blame you at all yeah, that's the whole for... point of this list is i don't blame you at all so my top number one is selma i uh yes and because she still look good even in the fucking just amazing. electric car commercial we saw today yeah i mean she still looks good she looks big and thick and i like big and thick man. and you like big boobies I, I, you know what I do. I, I like big boobs. Yep. I mean, I, I mean, back in the day, I mean, <laughs> whatever you get, you get. Yeah. But I, I, but now you can pick and choose. I mean, I, I, I picked, 
I'm done. I got it. So. Yeah, I can see it. Yeah, yeah. she's she's smoking hot too. Yeah. All these people are smoking hot, yeah, that's man. Right. Yeah, they are. That's why they're on our top five. Yeah, they are. So <laughs> Selma's my top five. Uh, Henry Cavill is yours. Oh yes. Yeah. Thank you very so, much. Um, do we have a movie review? No, no movie review. Okay. But uh, for Valentine's Day, oh shit, I do have the um, top eleven aphrodisiac foods. That's all coming up. The Big Dog AC Show. Hey, this is the Big Dog. And AC. From the Big Dog and AC Show podcast. If you want to see what we're up to, you should really follow our social media. Search for the Big Dog and AC Show on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Join the podcast now. Warning explicit content. Okay. In honor, I'm going to say in honor yeah. of uh, Valentine's Day. Oh, oh okay. Shoot. We'll say this is the Big Dog yeah. and AC Show. Yeah. Okay, anyways. But in honor of <laughs> Valentine's Day, I have the top 11 aphrodisiac foods. So I'm going to list them off and you tell me, big dog. Yes. If these make you horny or not. Fuck. Because this is off of Hello Giggles and this is supposed to be um, the foods that make you horny. (laughs) Okay. Before you do that. Okay, what? Beer's not on the list. I'll just say that right now. Can I go get one? There's beer right here. Do I have time? No, here's one right here. That's for you. No, I have one still. There you oh, go. Shit. So you gotta reach over because I got the cat. I got the cat in my lap, so I can't move. <laughs> but I will go ahead and grab this one. I'm stuck. I'm corded down. I can't move my headphone cords. <laughs> All right, here we go. This is live. No, it's not live because, well, you know. Oh, shit. We're recording. And it's not a day in the studio unless Big Dog spills beer all over himself. <laughs> I didn't get and the studio much. floor. Yeah, and the that's studio that's table. That's all over. And everywhere. Are you good? <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> Go get a towel. I, I need a towel. Go get one. Get me a towel. I can't. I got the cat on my lap. Oh, that's right. Yeah. yeah. So it's going to be that way? Okay. Because I'll just go over these. Right, keep talking. Okay. Okay. Well, it's not going to be any fun unless talk you're here to talk. about the Super Bowl. Okay. I can talk about my Henry Cavill, Dwayne Johnson, James Bay, <laughs> Paul Rudd. Any of them will be great. If we got any of them on the show, it would be amazing. I probably wouldn't even know what to say. And um, people would be like, oh, AC, you wouldn't know what to say? No, I wouldn't because I would probably be so fucking shocked. That they would be on the show. If they were here in the studio, that'd be a whole other thing. I'd probably just pass out because I don't know <laughs> if I could um, deal with any one of them being here in the same room with me because um, that would be crazy. And so I'm just trying to kill time right now, guys, because Big Dog is out trying to get a towel <laughs> to fix his fucking mess. But it was a good Super Bowl. I was glad that um, the Rams won by three. And like I say, we're keeping that that little mini show up because I was fucking right, and I look like a genius. So my dad, my dad said two and a half touchdowns. So that wasn't true. Big Dog thought the Bengals was gonna win. That wasn't true. Bengals were gonna win. I'm not was gonna win. Did you get a towel? No. I see you didn't. You left and did not come back with a towel. That's what we were waiting for. That's what the whole listening audience was waiting for you to get a towel to wipe up your ass. <laughs> no, oh, okay. And then here, here he goes again. I need you here for these foods. <laughs> he left me again, folks. But um, anyways, I'm drinking some beer. <laughs> and uh, football game was good. Um, I hope everybody enjoyed it. Halftime show was fucking amazing. Um, I think this was great. It brought me back to, you know, my younger days. And that was back when true hip-hop, they were fucking awesome. Awesome. I just appreciated everything they did. It was cool that they came back out. Snoop Dogg, Dr. Dre, Mary J. Blige. 50, 50 Cent was even there, which was awesome, too. Um, Eminem. Kendrick Lamar. I'm just trying to kill time, so I don't know what's going on. You still didn't bring a towel. For what? To wipe up your beer. I don't have beer. Oh my god. 
Alexander. Alexander. It's on What's the carpet. Who gives a shit? We'll oh, get okay. the carpet out. So. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So now you're back after I just mumbled about the last fucking two, three, four, <laughs> five minutes because you're wandering around. So did we go through our top five um, for Valentine's? Yes, we did. Yeah. Now we're doing the aphrodisiac foods. No, you go ahead. So I wanted to say them when you're here and see what you thought. So I can't do this by myself. I needed you here. Thank you. It's about time you recognize that. Go yeah, ahead. I need you for this segment. That's, Go all, ahead. that's all I've been waiting to. California love. Yeah, that was a good song. Yeah. Okay, so oysters. Yes. No, I won't do them. <laughs> There's no way. I don't get I don't how ca- those I, are. I don't care if you barbecue those motherfuckers. Well, I'm not eating a fucking oyster. It's not going to happen. You're not? I've done oyster shooters, which I think I've mentioned before. Yeah, you did. And those are disgusting. Yes. They, they're fucking nasty, So man. I don't. I just don't see how those are aphrodisiacs no. whatsoever. No. I'm sure there must be some reason, but I don't get it. I don't like no. them, so. No. Strawberries? Um, I like strawberries when I do like a banana strawberry kind of a thing in the blender. A smoothie? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I like that, so... We're about ready to hit the weight bench again, mm-hmm. so we're gonna have to do a lot of protein and, and get, you know, yeah. it's not about we're not gonna get big. We're gonna get, you know, I knew you were gonna say that strong. You we're gonna, gonna get, get strong. strong. I, I want to get strong. I mean, I knew it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But so, so. St- um, strawberries are okay. I think they're saying like I think so. chocolate dip strawberries are supposed to be sexy and all that shit. No. I don't know that. I don't really care well, about well, those no, being you that know, way. Here, we, you know, it's not about sexy. It's about like this is aphrodisiac foods though. This is supposed to get you in the just mood. Being in the, into each other. So you're so. saying none of these foods matter because you just gotta be into people. If you want to eat the foods and do the stuff, it's fine with me. But oysters are out. I will not do that. So. Okay. Well, I won't either. Yeah. I don't like fish or seafood <laughs> or anything. Yeah. <laughs> Strawberries I can do, but yeah. I just don't. I don't like. I can eat a strawberry and not get all horny so off of it. So I don't understand that. So what was that commercial we saw? I don't eat seafood. And then oh, she, yes. she had, uh, you know, the... It's like for the car that, that has the auto braking, yeah, yeah, whatever. Yeah. So first she says, um, I had su- sushi for lunch yesterday. Yeah, yeah he's asking. And then what, what about do you seafood? Want? And yeah. she said, I don't like seafood. I'm like, so, what the fuck are you eating <laughs> sushi then? Sushi is seafood. M- yeah, I, yeah. I've had some yeah. sushi that's not full on seafood because I don't like seafood. No, and don't and some it. guy no. took me out to sushi one time. I'm yeah. like, well, I don't like seafood, so... I had like a couple different out. things. Yeah, it took you out anyway. Yeah. We're going to go. So there were like, I think, a couple things. Was he hot? Get. Was he hot? I don't know. At the time, it was fine. But it was fine. Yeah. It was fine. But yeah. um, there yeah. there are See, a few I'm try- things. I'm trying to, to get some information out of AC. I'm trying Good to luck get with that. She won't even cough nope. it up. Because, well, at the time, uh, he was fine. Okay. I'll just say it. All right. Okay. So hold on. Let me hit this before it goes off. Yeah. And then, so dark chocolate. I, I like dark chocolate. Yeah. It doesn't make me horny or anything. No. But I do like dark chocolate kind of more than, than the milk chocolate. And that, it's not an aphrodisiac it's, or whatever it it's is? It's supposed to be an aphrodisiac, but I it's yeah. not to me. No. I just... Yeah. You've had... Do you like the dark chocolate more than the milk I, chocolate? I, well, it all depends of what it's with. If it mixes with something, it's pretty fucking good. Well, I think the cat just farted right now. Because <laughs> I just got to smell <laughs> <laughs> that's not that's not fresh it's that, not fresh she, the cat does, just farted does she need a douche or something <laughs> no clean but her she's, up but she's sleeping so yeah, good yeah, I mean, but but you gotta clean it just her came up. out yeah. it just I smell it that's horrible okay yeah, yeah so we, anyways yeah, we still love her I do still love yeah, her oh my god I could, oh my you god you can't smell it I could smell that it was bad that's terrible that's pretty right yeah so, Should kitty, we get her a diaper? Kitty. No. That's not an aphrodisiac. So, <laughs> that is definitely not an aphrodisiac. So the next one is red wine. Really? Mm-hmm. Why? The alcohol or the smell, the taste? It's not telling me. Well, I guess yeah. I can look it up if yeah. you want me to keep looking. Yeah, go ahead and look. I'm just looking at the list, but. Yeah. Um, Hold on. Okay. I just passed it. Yep. Happy Valentine's uh, well, Day. Well, this one just says visit a winery because of the alcohol and stuff. But oh. So red wine. It says red wine, not white wine or whatever. Yeah. It says red wine. So I don't know. There might be something. In it. But I've had red wine, too. And uh, it's like, what? I don't believe in any of this shit. Because really, if I'm going to be horny, I'm horny. It yeah, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. I could drink whatever. Yes. Eat whatever yes. and still be horny. Still want to get something going. Yeah. Get a, I little don't, rub, get a little rub in. I don't need this. 
Yes. Yeah. So, okay, the next one is champagne. Man, it's the same thing as wine. Exactly. I enjoy champagne. Yeah. And I, Oops. Oh, my gosh. I, just, <laughs> I, uh, I like champagne, but once again, I just enjoy it. It doesn't make me horny or anything. No. I just, it's nice. Okay. Here you go. Coffee. Okay. Nah, not me. Nah, that don't make me horny. If that was the case, everybody who fucking gets up and goes to Star Starbucks is going to be fucking horny all the time. I'm sorry, I don't think that's true. Um, so yeah, I don't know how that would be. Maybe it's a, a like a stimulant. Coffee? No, there's. I don't think coffee is a stimulant. I just don't well, think it is. It's a stimulant, but it's not an aphrodisiac. So why is coffee even in the list? I have no fucking idea. Maybe What's the next just, one? It just jumps you up. <laughs> What's the next Pistachios. One? Who, who is the one writing this uh, fucking list? I don't know, because I don't even like pistachios. I don't even like anybody. I don't. Well, I don't <laughs> but, like the. I yeah. don't like pistachios. I don't like the taste of them. Right. And it has nothing. I don't know. Yeah. I don't. I don't like it. No. No for you. No. So papaya. Papaya. I like pa yeah. Papaya gives you a boner. I like. I like papaya. Okay. But I don't think that this is anything. I don't know. I'm just not agreeing with this list whatsoever because right. I don't. I don't see how any of this is doing anything. Yeah, number one. You got one number one in there. No, we got three more. Oh, we gotta go. number three. So, um, honey. Honey, uh, honey's good, uh, but what are you gonna do? With but it? again, yes. What are you gonna do with you it? You put it in your tea. Yeah, you rub, rub it on your banana. Yeah, maybe drip drizzle it on your dick. <laughs> and then the person sucking it out. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but I, it, I, I yeah. don't know. Yeah. I, I don't see it. Chili peppers. Mm, really? Which, which you love chili peppers. Oh, yeah. They make, they make me horny and sexual. That's what they do. <laughs> and see, I was thinking maybe something with chili peppers for your, for your TikTok that since you lost, yeah. you know, the bet. Uh, I know. But if you eat a lot of chili peppers, you're not going to be happy with the whole situation and we'll have to buy some more toilet paper and all that kind of stuff so right, I don't want right. to do that and that's definitely not an aphrodisiac I'm sorry so and then one more ginger 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 is okay too but once again I don't know why they think these are anything to make you horny and I've had all of well no I have had all these things and None of them have made me want to like any any more amorous than I was already at the time. Yeah. How about we say that? Yeah. Because if you're into it, you're into it. Doesn't matter what you're eating. Nothing's gonna make you be into it. No. I will it's say it's all that. mental. It's mental. Well, being with the person, if you're already you know jumbly and you you're ready to go, you're ready shit, to rock and roll. It doesn't matter if you eat ginger with an oyster, <laughs> whatever. I mean, you, you know, I don't know. Yeah. So anyways, for for Valentine's Day, that was our little thing. Top five in the aphrodisiac. So, you yeah. know, enjoy it. If you're yeah. with somebody, you want to try those foods, knock yourself out. Yeah. If not, just get it on. Have yeah. a good time. Yeah, have a good time. Happy Valentine's Day. Yep. Big Dog AC Show. Thanks for listening. Uh, we had a great Super Bowl. Stay Valentine's tuned for Day. yeah. Stay yeah. tuned for uh, the TikTok where Big Doug's gonna have to do something. <laughs> I have not decided what he has to do yet to pay yeah. up for his bet, but it should be interesting. I think so, but I don't want to know. AC's gonna <laughs> we, put me through the ringer. You'll find out. <laughs>